Dir gefallen. Is Ina is uh, now greeting the women who came for the meeting. We are all gathered in Bali's place to meet the women and Ina is greeting them one by one as in Africa. Everyone should have access to water and we know that this place has the most difficulty so that's why we're working to be able to have many many wells here but it's going to be one at a time. So the money and the wells and all of the work is not coming from our pockets. We are working to find out where it is to be able to get it and come here so that we can work together. Oh. And this is truly, truly about women supporting women because women are the life givers. Women are the ones who take care of everyone. Yes. And when we can come together and support each other, the world is going to change. Yes. She is the president, I think. Yes. Okay, c'est juste un tout petit peu, mais il faut voir juste ce que vous pouvez faire. Ça, ça ne compte pas trop. Ça, c'est juste un signe pour vous montrer que ça a commencé et ça vient. Voilà. Just a beginning to tell them that uh, it is. Yeah. Voilà. This is uh, Mama, and this yeah. is how she came to the clinic today. And if we didn't bring her in this car, she would have had to ride a motorcycle. This is the clinic. It's like the trip to the clinic. To think she was going to come on a motorcycle and that's what she's been doing. Beyond me. This is the children's schoolhouse in Tantiaka. It's made of millet stalks that are lashed together. And this is the school that's just behind it that is unfinished. We think because of corruption, American money has come, but it has only gone this far. 
So here we go into the school. This millet house. The only one that they have right now. You. Ah. And these are the beautiful children that have the fortune to be here. They have no books, no pens, no paper. And a few of them get to go to school, but not many. And this is the school teacher, Danielle, who teaches these children. This is how they learn one book. As you can see, the they conditions are very difficult here. And uh, first of all, they need to finish the school uh, the back there yes. and uh, try to uh, get this, the student in the school, in the different classrooms, and get books and pens. Uh -huh. That's uh, the first need. If they can get food, some food to eat uh, at noon before uh, coming back to the class at the street, it will be really good. And that's because a lot of these children come to school on empty bellies and they have a difficult time to learn because their stomachs are so hungry. On Amatan time, uh, it is very cold, that is November and December, it is very cold here and uh, they uh, cannot learn well because they are cold and uh, that is, uh, brings to the classroom needs. We need to go to the classroom. If they are in uh, classrooms, it is quite better for them. Uh, as in, in a school that's not finished yet as opposed to this place. Yeah. So you start out with this uh, geomantic practice in, in Africa, the sand divination. What, what really interested me historically was that uh, Islamic mystics had brought this from Africa up into Europe. Um, and in the uh, 12th century, Hugo of Santalia in Spain introduced this to the, the larger uh, uh, community of alchemists, so these, these sort of mystical mathematicians in Europe. Um, it fell under the, the uh, interest of Leibniz when he was doing his dissertation, dissertation on combinatorics called uh, decombinatoria uh, at age 24. And Leibniz uh, wa wanted to uh, invest, sort of investigate it mathematically. Um, and so he investigated geomancy not in terms of a, of a fortune telling system, but how it used the powers of two and how you could count using the powers of two. Um, so that was the origins of the binary code. Uh, then George Boole, much later on, uh, realized that you could do an algebra based on these binary codes, codes that we call Boolean algebra. Um, sometimes in, in, if you're doing a Google search or something, you'll, you'll ask for a Boolean search, meaning that you want to do uh, and and or uh, in your search. That's Boolean algebra too. Uh, John von Neumann, later in the 20th century, took Boolean algebra, put it into hardware, and created the digital computer. So all these little ones and zeros that are running around in our, our digital circuits everywhere in the world actually have their origin in that African practice. So all these, these little PDAs and, and laptops, every digital circuit in the world started in Africa. And I, I, I know uh, Brian Eno says there's, there's not enough African computers, but you know I don't think there's enough African history in Brian Eno. Tell her that we are very, very grateful for staying in her home to sleep. Tell her thank you very much for feeding us her food, for cooking. And tell her thank you very much for all the hard work to wash our clothes. Yes, Sai Baba!